Last week, Borderlands added a feature to their website that you can use, and it's a completely interactive skill tree for all four characters. And today, that is what we will be breaking down. I will leave a link in the description below, so after this video, you can go and get an idea of which character you will be leaning towards when Borderlands 3 drops on September 13th. Now, let's get into the video. Starting with Amara, she has three action skills, and they are Phase Cast. You will send forth an astral projection of yourself, and it will deal damage to everything in its path. And the second skill is Phase Grasp. Amara summons a giant fist that will burst right out of the ground, and it will lock your targeted enemy in place for a few seconds. Lastly, Phase Slam. You will leap into the air and slam the ground, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. Next, we have Flak. He is the Beastmaster in which you have the choice of three beasts. Your Jabber sidekick will be equipped with a pistol and you can command him to throw a radiation barrel at enemies. And the second beast is the Spider Ant. The Spider Ant Centurion will cause you to regenerate health and you can also command it to charge at enemies. Lastly is your Guard Slack. Its passive ability is to increase your damage, but the attack command is a vomit acid that causes your skag to vomit on enemies. Our third vault hunter, and probably the character that I'm leaning towards, is Moe's. And her action skill is for her mech named Iron Bear, on which you can pick two out of three weapons to mount on each shoulder. The first weapon is the railgun. The railgun will fire electrified high velocity projectiles that will deal shock damage. The next weapon is a minigun that is capable of sustained rapid fire. If you fire for an extended amount of time, you will overheat that machine gun and you will need to let it cool down for a few seconds. The third weapon is a grenade launcher that will fire in a semi-auto and the grenades from that grenade launcher will not be affected by your grenade mod. The fourth and final Vault Hunter is Zane. He comes in as my second favorite Vault Hunter as of now. You can also choose two abilities with Zane, so he will be a solid character choice as well. His first skill is the Digit Clone. Zane will spawn a clone that will stay in place, but it distracts and it will also fire at enemies. You also can swap places with this clone. Next is his Sentinel Drone. You will send the Sentinel Drone into battle and it will continually fly through the environment and it will automatically fire its machine guns at enemies. But you can also mark an enemy in your crosshairs for that Sentinel Drone to attack. Zane's third skill is his barrier. You will be able to drop the barrier and you and your allies will be able to shoot through the barrier and we will have increased gun damage while being blocked from all enemy projectiles. Also, if you are Zane, you will be able to pick up and hold that barrier, but the size and the damage bonuses will be decreased. Alright, and that is all four Vault Hunter's abilities broken down. Let me know in the comments below who you're planning on choosing, and don't forget, if you still need to, use that interactive skill tree link down in the description. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing with notifications turned on if you would like to stay up to date with all new Borderlands 3 content. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.